The Tulsa State Fair will wrap up what it calls 11 days of awesome this Sunday, two weeks after the conclusion of the Oklahoma State Fair. We thought we'd offer you a little fun and a lot of information in a report that we call Compare the Fair. The Oklahoma State Fair debuted in 1907, just one month before Oklahoma was granted statehood, and about four years after the first Tulsa County Free Fair. They've been engaged in a friendly competition ever since. We're definitely separate entities, um, but we do collaborate. We've got great relationships with their management team as well. Uh, we have a lot of vendors that go between both of the different fairs um, that travel the fair circuit. So there's definitely a synergy, but at the same time, we're far enough apart that we don't compete with each other and definitely support each other. What do you think of the turquoise? you want to try something else? Bob McKee is one of those vendors. His Silver Bargains booth has been a staple of the Oklahoma State Fair for a decade, and this is his third year in Tulsa. Oklahoma City is quite a bit busier, but this fair this year is actually picked up quite a bit. So uh, we're way ahead of what we've done in prior years, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's a little different. It's a little busier. Is it the Oklahoma State Fair? The is? Oklahoma State Fair. So that to translates Tulsa. to more sales? Yes. Best seller? Cheesy chicken enchilada. Cheesy chicken enchilada. Elena Green sells 17 kinds of soup mix and 16 different dips. And while most of these 600 vendors are tight-lipped about their costs, roughly $2,000 per day in sales is what it takes to make a go of it. Brick and mortar stores are basically going out of business. So you have to go where the people are. Bob and Delena's observations about crowd size are worth noting because the official numbers tell a different story. According to CarnivalWarehouse.com, the 2018 Tulsa State Fair welcomed 1.25 million patrons through its turnstiles, ranking it 18th in the nation. The Oklahoma State Fair was ranked 22nd with 850,000 visitors. And so perhaps the fairgoers in OKC come to pay, and those in Tulsa come to play. We're going to try to ride every ride we can. We're going to fill up on all the food we can. We're going to walk it off, and then we're going to eat some more. We're going to ride some more. We're going to make a full day of it. Sean Garrett and his niece Emma are starting with the bumper cars. One ride down and 64 more to go, with seven of them brand new. That's a few less than the Oklahoma State Fair, which features 67 rides this season. Hey, but who's counting? We are. So here's some more numbers for you. Approximately 12,000 animals are entered to compete in the Tulsa Livestock and Horse Shows this year, including Montana Brackett's Limousine Steer. Named? Steer Steer. Steer Steer. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Montana is a veteran of both fairs, and she does have a preference. I like this one. It's just, I, I think because I've shown here, and like, I just know more around this one, and I just think the rides are funner here for some reason, and more of my friends go to this one. Participating in 4-H competitions is as old as Oklahoma, and we've had some pretty famous folks do it. Johnny Bench, Reba McIntyre, Carl Albert, and current Tulsa County Commissioner Karen Keith. We had to do what we called speeches and demonstrations, and then we had our sewing projects and leadership skills. All those things were part of the program, and it, it helped me tremendously because I was pretty darn shy. These fairs represent a rite of passage for every generation of Oklahomans, starting with the chuck wagon races at the Oklahoma City Fairgrounds in 1907. And who can forget this daredevil pilot crashing his plane into a shed in the 40s and walking away to tell the tale. And while the Tulsa State Fair is justifiably proud of its 76-foot-tall golden driller standing sentry at the Expo Square Pavilion and its five musical stages and 49 bands this year, back in the day it boasted an eight-day run by Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. Pretty tough to top that. Then again, they didn't have this back in the day. We have a hamburger or a cheeseburger with bacon, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions. And what makes it unusual is the donuts are the bun. So we have two donuts, one for the top, one for the bottom. The bottom line, whether you prefer bacon wrapped chicken on a stick in Oklahoma City or the log rides in Tulsa, the petting zoo in OKC, or the rainbow slide in green country, each year these fairs offer something new to do. 
We're actually, you know, this year already planning for next year. We always look to improve, and we've got a great team in place at the Tulsa State Fair. We like to call them Team Awesome because we literally build a small city for this 11-day event that is so impactful for our community.